Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh Barakam kwa da wana zoka chi masa wa raru Idanya wani parko shugu waka wana channel dinamu Waka danna mara subscribe Sanna ka danna mara karawa Dan samun sa wabang ayikamu Tu yo de wana channel mi arawa ka rata ka muku Wani dan tak echa chamba ya ni ni akam wana sa application Masa mata kara amfani Achikin wair hanu Wada na application ba, wada na sa application ba ni ba Illa Aku wana application dan ni suna Bandlab Bayan Bandlab Aku wana kuma application Da aje temai Protec Bayan shi kuma Aku wana application Da aje temai Shazan Dizza muku bayan ni akan su Daya bayan daya Akan yadda aki ampani da su Da aga Kubiyong Yawwa Wannang application Misuna Shazan Ida wuka ji yuka na kusha a Play Store Kaida alo den enshi kaya install den enshi Sika shi geshi kwa yuka taba asha haka Kana taba asha haka Munga shi yende iki Tu idan kana buka atara kala lebu waka haka santa baka sasa sunanta wa Kwa yu waka achi zaka idanda Laka danda fule ya Ndika mamo sali ya duwanda mwata wa yeti Zenyi fule du mwaka Tu inda yung fule du mwaka Wanda waka achi haka za ay plate nita Ya zi masali ya zi Kana ayo plate ni waka Zi ya tawka Zi ya kawa waka Ya zi masali ya kawa plate ni waka Ayo kamu Ayo kamu Waka razi Zara Tu, mungkin tak sekadar nafli. Ayah punya entah, dua kaki saja ni. Dia nak cakap buat ajar, buat ajar kepada mana? Dua kaki ampan deh. Dua kaki lalu bodoh, tiru makan dua kaki susu. Seri empat berita. Malah kaki lalu bodoh mana sahaja. Mana sih ni aplikasi? Mana sih ni aplikasi yang dah ada ni kesal dengan aku? Saurah naga bah? Yawa Bayang munga madu wana application Mi suna shazan Aku yukuma daya application Ni wanda aki kira Protec Protec Shikuma application ni na tau kau hoto Ida nza kai video Nza kai tangi shooting in video Kwa dang wan tangkara min film Kwa dang wan tangkara min video Daya kada za kai Tu Fi wana application ni na Sawki wajang iyan video Munga shi na Wana application nang Ada lo kacin da kayu da lo den enshi Kasi geshi Kunga ya deiki Application nang ya tambah zang Kyo Kunga ya shi Yana da Abu wa eri eri Yana da sita sita kala kala Ida muka na abu wanida Frotec Abu na paruko Kunga wajan wanang Abu idang kata ba, si ni wajah level dengan mic dengan kita idang kasar mic, jadi ni yang dijahir dengan kita ukam makana. Dah kasih tu, jadi aku kulak aku kadang kacau suruh aku kau dia. Bayang nang, dah kacau nama bulut, dah kacau nama bulut. Jadi dengan kita ukam makana tak bulut. So nak kau external mic, so aku mah kau wajah si ni dijahir aku. Wan ni kena. Dahwa. Sana kuma shi protek Yana ada wana abu Yuzi kama musali Nang Yana kana abu kata Sita sita ni Jina ni wana sita sita ni Naka sa sita ni Shida agarama Sana Yang Protek kaja so Yana shi kuma yende iki Naka maya sita sita Iri ini shi ma Naka sita Kalwana shi Nashawara Potlet Nashawara su Yuzi kama potlet Naka Tak ada potret. Selesai dah selesai. Okay. Ini yang asli. Awak. Aku cuma potret ni orang nak. Protek ni orang nak. Zip tamar abu buat eri eri. Tu ada seorang kau masih situ situ. Mana aplikasi anda? Nada ukar foto ni, de video. Nada ukar video ni. One application that I'll be doing. Yeah, we'll do it. 
sai kuma application na uku wanda ake kira the band lab wannan application ne suna band lab kun gashi na in the bottom right of the screen tap on the folder icon at the bottom of the screen tap on the red plus button Swipe left on the screen and tap on the MIDI instrument icon. Swipe left through the tabs at the top of the screen and tap on the drums tab. Choose a drum kit from the list. To hear the drum kit, tap on its play button. Tap on a drum kit to download it. A cloud sign will appear below the name of the drum kit. Now tap on a downloaded drum kit. The icon on each of the 16 pads shows you which sound the pad plays when tapped. Below the bottom right pad, tap on the step sequencer button. On the left of the screen are the icons of the drum kit sounds. Each sound has a row of grey squares to the right of its icon. Above the grey squares is a row of brown squares. The line on the left of the first brown square is marked 1. This is where the first beat starts. The line on the left of the fifth brown square is marked 1.2. This is where the second beat starts. There are four squares between 1 and 1.2. So the line on the left of each square marks the beginning of a quarter note. The left line of the first square in each group of four squares is marked 1, then 1.2, 1 1.3, 1 1.4, 2, 2.1 and so on. In music, the word bar is the length of a standard drum loop and the one at the top of the screen marks the beginning of the first bar and 2 marks the beginning of the second bar, and so on. So to create a drum beat, we will use the standard drum loop length of one bar. So this is four beats and four quarter notes to each beat, which is 16 gray squares. Before we start, at the top right of the screen is the word snap and a dot. When the dot is green, the snap function is on. Tap on the dot so the dot is not green. Tap on the gray area of the screen. A coloured square will now appear on the screen. Notice how the coloured square is not exactly over a grey square. Now tap on the dot next to the word snap so the dot is green. Tap on the grey area of the screen again. A coloured square will now appear on the screen. Notice how this coloured square has automatically aligned itself over the nearest grey square. When snap is on, the coloured squares snap to the nearest first line of a grey square. Now tap on the coloured squares to delete them. To get us started, let's create a standard basic drum beat. Tap on the 1st, 5th, 9th and 13th square on the bottom row to place a bass drum sound on the start of the four beats. Swipe left on the grey area if you need to scroll the screen to place some of the coloured squares. Tap on the 5th and 13th square on the 2nd to bottom row to place a snare drum sound on the start of the 2nd and 4th beats. Finally, tap on all odd numbered squares on the 3rd to bottom row to place a closed hi-hat sound to every odd numbered square note. Tap on the play button at the bottom of the screen to hear the beat.
Tap on the pause button to stop play. Then tap on the return to start button. Tap on the brown square section at the top of the screen so the brown squares turn orange. The loop function has now been turned on. Now when you tap on play, the drum beat will be on a loop. At the bottom right of the screen, tap on Done. At the top of the screen, tap on the Settings icon. Tap on the Play button at the bottom of the screen, then click on the blue Minus or Plus buttons in the Tempo section to change the speed of the drum beat. Tap on the pause button when you like the speed of the drum beat. At the top of the screen, tap on the wave icon. Below the bottom right pad, tap on the step sequencer button. To make a cleaner drum beat, tap on the first, third, fifth and seventh coloured squares on the closed hi-hat row to delete them. Now drag the second closed hi-hat coloured square up to the next row, which is the open hi-hat sound, by pressing your finger on the coloured square and, with your finger still pressed on the square, move your finger up the screen. The open hi-hat sound and the closed hi-hat sound are linked together so only one of the two sounds can play at a time. Drag the second coloured square in the closed hi-hat row to the ninth grey square. Notice now when you play the beat how the open hi-hat sound now stops when the closed hi-hat sound plays. Sometimes you might want to add a drum roll, so tap on the 10th, 11th and 12th grey squares in the snare drum sound row. When you play the drum beat, notice how the drum roll does not sound quite right. So here is a trick for you. Whenever you place a coloured square on an even grey square, reduce the velocity of the coloured square. To do this, press the screen on a grey area above the coloured square you want to change the velocity of, until a circle appears around your finger. Now slide your finger down the screen until the coloured square is highlighted with a bright white border. At the top of the screen, a V button has now appeared. Tap on the V button and then slide the white dot left along the white line about halfway. Now tap on the tick. Notice how the coloured square is now darker in colour to show it has a lower velocity. Now, when you play the drum beat, notice how the drum roll sounds much better. At another coloured square to any row and notice how the coloured square 
is darker too and has a lower velocity. So here is another trick. At the bottom right of the screen, tap on Done. Now tap on the Step Sequencer button again. Now when you add a colour square, the colour and velocity of the square are back to normal. Next, we'll make the drum beat sound less robotic. At the top of the screen, tap on the snap dot so it's no longer green. Drag the first closed hi-hat coloured square slightly to the left. To do this, press on the first closed hi-hat coloured square, drag it to the left, then back to the right, but slightly to the left of where it started. A trick for you here is only to move the coloured squares that do not have coloured squares next to them and are the only coloured square on that quarter note. So now drag the open hi-hat coloured square and the last closed hi-hat coloured square so they are both slightly to the right of where they started. At the top of the screen, tap on the snap dot, so it is green again. Tap on done at the bottom of the screen. Now, near the top right of the screen, click on the V icon. Tap on the orange area near the top of the screen to turn off the loop function. Tap on the drum beat section, then tap on loop. Tap on the X near the bottom of the screen to close the loop menu. While the drum beat section is still highlighted, press on the white dot at the end of the drum beat section and drag your finger to the right to extend the drum loop. The white line going down the screen is the play position marker. Swipe to the left on the grey area of the screen until the play position marker is at the end of the drum beat section. Below the play position marker is a number. This number reads minutes, seconds and milliseconds. This number now tells you how long your drum beat is. My drum beat is 8.72 seconds long. Songs often have one drum beat for the verse and another for the chorus. So, tap on the mixer button at the bottom left of the screen. Tap on the three dots on track one and tap on duplicate. Tap on the M button on track one to mute the track. Now tap on the mixer button again. Tap on the drum beat in the second track and tap on delete. Now double tap the drum icon for the second track. Tap on the step sequencer button and create a new drum beat for the chorus. Then tap on Done. Tap on the V icon. Tap on the Mixer button. Tap on the M on track 1 to unmute the track. And tap on the Mixer button again. 
click on the drum beat section in track two and tap on loop. Click on X at the bottom of the screen to close the loop menu and drag the drum beat section loop in track two to the right length. Now press on the drum beat section in track two and drag to the right until its beginning is in line with the end of the drum beat of section one. Now tap on the drum beat section on track one and tap on copy. Scroll to the right until the play position marker is in line with the end of the drum beat on track two. Now double tap on track one and tap on paste. Continue to copy and paste in both tracks one and two until you've completed the beats for your song. 